Hello, welcome and good evening for a short little soldering project. And yeah, I got this kit here as a gift. And <laughs> it's it's a rather gimmick, I would say. It's a shaking die or dice, whatever you want to call it. Um, by Fellerman. So I think they might be German. And they have all kinds of little tinkering electronic kits and this is one of them. Um, I think it might be rather easy to use. We might need to search for a battery. It takes a coin cell but I think I have maybe one lying around because batteries are not included. Um, 2025 or 2032. Yeah I think I have it 2032 somewhere. Um, but first, we will solder all the components. So let's let's see what does it do. Basically, there is a little switch. I think it's this black one here, probably with a teeny tiny little drop of mercury. Not sure if that's still allowed, but I think they used to be like that. So when you shake it, it makes contact, and you have to mount it at an angle, so it will reset itself. Um, however, there's even a little note here which says, no, don't do it like they say in the manual, but do it like this. First bend over the right leg and solder the two legs at that end, then bend again, and then mount it at a 15 degree angle, sort of. Okay, we'll do that. Simple enough. Other than that, yes. Yeah, it's harmful for the environment. Don't put it in the trash. The usual stuff. Looks simple enough. And here it says, please order the resistors first, then the capacitors, then the IC socket. And we only have one kind of... Oh, there's only one one capacitor and two kinds of resistors r1 to r7 are the same these ones here uh, that's 560 ohms and r8 is one meg then install the battery holder the switch one electrolytic and the leds watch the polarities we will we will take this uh, as a hint and also the IC socket and the IC. And then you just mount it with the uh, standoffs and the screws and the whatever you call it, um, things here at the bottom. Oh no, those are both screws. Okay, so they are threaded, the standoffs are threaded. That's good. The schematic looks simple enough. There's a little PIC 2508 microcontroller pre programmed, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. The only interesting thing is um, this here is... Yeah, this should be easy. Yeah, it's very easy to break off. That's good. So I think we will manage to do that. Iron has been heating up. Um, still my 20 euro Amazon iron. I pimped it a little bit with this um, standby AGT, and I also always have ready this ERSA, um, yeah, tinning powder to retin the tip. And yeah, before soldering, always make sure to um, clean the tip so that it's nice and shiny. All right. If you are interested in uh, what kind of iron I can link to my ancient video from last year, that's always a possibility. Um, let's take out all those resistors. I'm gonna try this time without a montage. Maybe I'll accelerate it at some point, the video. Uh, because this should be a pretty short affair and you might hear me cursing or stuff which 
could be kind of amusing, I guess. Yeah. So, soldering is, in my opinion, always quite relaxing. And you can always think about how to align these resistors because, of course, they don't care. But they have, they are. Like they have the gold ring on one end. And I'm always thinking, mm, which direction do I want to put the gold rings? And look at that. Did I already do something wrong? Did they put the one Mac? With the rest of the bunch? I think so, didn't they? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh yes, they did. Nasty little people. There's nothing in here, right? Nope, there isn't. Oh, let me sit down. Uh, um... When I put back the iron, I usually put it because it's manually. Um, you know, like I have to dial the temperature manually. I usually put it to 200 degrees Celsius. Um, there's, of course, the more expensive ones, or the other, the more modern ones, like the TS100, which uh, will, well, be adjustable digitally and the solar stations they will Um, they say we should solder the capacitor now. Where is it? Over here, C1. C2 is the electrolytic. But they want us to do that later. So this is the buffer, or oh, I don't know what you call it. The capacitor for the IC, basically. So let's put in the the uh, C socket at the same time. Oh, they say we should do the switch. Okay, so here's the, the thing with the switch. Um, this is the third leg, basically. And they say we should twist it down, like this. Does it say anything on here? So this is, I think the brand here. Can't exactly see it, but we should solder these two legs together. Um, yeah, let's try that. Extremely ugly. Oh, no. actually, there's something in there, like a ball or something. Maybe it's a magnetic switch? I don't know. Or just like a metal ball making contact? I have no clue, so it will roll back. Maybe, probably, probably just a metal ball. It's, I guess it's the safest anyway. Um. Let's do the electrolytic, shall we? And that's of course polarized as well. There's the plus and the minus is marked on this one. <laughs> this is probably Hitano. I don't know if that's a brand. I mean a good brand? Probably not. Probably cheap as dirt. But we don't care. It will be sufficient. Well, this thing 
just so low power and it's just a gimmick to practice soldering with. Jared is, isn't it tiny and cute? 12F508. Well, that's a lovely microcontroller. And now we have light emitting diodes. A whole bunch of them. A little plastic bag. So, okay, this looks good. Or as good as I can probably make it. No, I don't want this, I want this. Thank you. Okay, so that's that. Let's pick up a screwdriver. Um, oh wait, it's like it's a slit. Um, up, 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 up. I have something for that as well in here. Having three on one side actually helps you not to screw up the polarity. I mean, you can still just put in four screws and screw up anyway, but if you try to put in all the screws, then it's basically impossible to screw up. And now I'm gonna stop the screw jokes. Well, seems to be all in order. Now wait a second for me to fetch a battery and then we'll see if there will be smoke or something blinking. Okay, I've got the battery, uh, 2032. 20 is the diameter, 20 millimeters, and 32 means 3.2 millimeters thickness. A 2025 would have been as well okay. And I'm thinking, how will I get this in here, actually? Because it doesn't seem to be... Look at that! We have something! Can I turn this off? Hide the roll to four. So? Ah, no. Oh, nice animation. Five! Yeah, I would say it works. So, let's focus. Oh, is this noisy? Um, yeah, but it's very low light now. A three! <laughs> Love it! Great thing. So, everything worked out. No smoke for you today. And there's one. Brilliant. Um, Let's turn the light on again. I'm wondering if this will turn off automatically. Yes, it does. And I wonder what the um, current is that this thing takes up when not showing something. Probably in the order of microamps. Um, yeah. So. While talking and recording, this took me something like 40 minutes. I did a bit of a sloppy job with the solder joints, but yeah, like this here is a bit ugly. Yeah, here was where I didn't have any flux anymore. This is the battery holder. These here look pretty okay-ish. This one here looks bad because I twisted the leg but it works um so you can probably do better than that but it will work and it's just a toy basically uh but a nice one at that
and it's good to practice. Uh, would probably be, be even nice to have the source code for the uh, PIC programming so you can learn how to do that yourself but you would probably need a um, dedicated programmer for that but yeah I can definitely say this was a fun little thing uh, very good for beginners who want to try out their soldering skills and uh, yeah work their way up to more difficult stuff there was no smoke everything works it actually has a use <laughs> even though like a regular dice would be much simpler and doesn't rely on battery power but it's it's cool it's a gadget if you like this share like and definitely subscribe because there will be more of this weird stuff on my channel yeah other than that have a nice evening